hello, you are amazing. You are awesome. There is no doubt about that. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Okay, so who hasn't felt lonely or lost in life? I know that I have, I've been there, I've done that on more than one occasion. And believe it or not, most people have, but it's still a very common thing today. The feelings of feeling lonely or lost in life. You know, we don't know our life purpose or we don't understand our life purpose. So it's not an uncommon thing to feel lonely. So believe me when I tell you, you are not alone. So what are the symptoms of loneliness or feeling alone or just feeling lost in life? Well, the typical ones, you probably are familiar with these or you've heard these before, are a lack of self-worth, low self-esteem, feeling worthless, crying often, feeling alone, feeling dead inside or hollow, feeling unloved, sadness, being angry, and often feeling disconnected. Like, where is my place in this life? Who am I meant to connect to or surround myself with? So those are often feelings of feeling lonely or lost or alone in life. But I have some tips that I want to share with you today to help you get over your loneliness or conquer your feelings of feeling alone or lost in life. And number one, I want you to understand that loneliness and feeling lonely are common. These are common feelings that we feel as human beings. Um, and we all experience them. So I want you to picture life as a road trip without the map, right? So picture yourself going on a road trip, but you have no map. What happens with that? You have no GPS, you're not using your Google Maps because we all love Google and Google loves us. So picture life or see this as a road trip, but you have no map and you have no memory of where you're going. That's how life is. So feelings of loneliness or feeling lost in life are common feelings. We have to navigate roads that we've never seen, we've never traveled. There's lots of twists and turns. We have to take pit stops and we hit dead ends and we make U-turns, right? And everything in between to create the fulfilling life that we desire. So when you're feeling alone or lost in life and you don't know which way to go, always remember that life is that road trip without a map and then move across. Accordingly. Number two, remember that loneliness often stems from life changes or big moves or the loss of a loved one or an illness that you're not familiar with. Our situation, so what are we surrounded with or whom are we surrounding ourselves with? So it could be a lack of relationship, people that we feel close to. Number three, personality. Personality is another obstacle that creates the feeling of loneliness. So it can be low self-esteem or social anxieties, right? Or the lack of support of community. And lastly, number four can be our age. We have to admit, as we get older in life, we watch our friends, our families, our loved ones, our coworkers often die before we do. And sometimes these are very close friends and very close family, family members. And it happens a lot as we age. And that too can create a sense of feeling alone or lost or lonely in life. So when you're having those feelings of feeling alone, I want you to see loneliness as an opportunity for new direction. Because everything that comes in our lives is an opportunity for a new direction. It, it creates new paths in our lives. Remember when I said those road trips, like picture life as a road trip without the map? It's like a twist and turn. So loneliness creates opportunity for new directions, for us to travel new paths. Next, take that opportunity that was created and get to know yourself better. Because see, things don't happen in our lives without purpose. There's a purpose and a reason for everything that happens in our lives. Whenever we're, we're having a sense of 
feeling lonely or loneliness or loss, take that or see it as a new opportunity, a new chance to get to know yourself better. So if you have a sense of loneliness, but don't understand why, understand that that's God's way of asking you to sit with self, and this requires patience. So sit with self to uncover the roots of your loneliness, the root of why you're feeling lonely. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have a sense of unfulfillment? Because there's always a root cause. And I've said this many times before, everything that we go through in life, especially negative trauma, there's always a root cause. So why are we feeling depressed? Or why are we battling anxiety? Why are we battling unforgiveness? Why do we have a lack of hope? There's a root cause that can answer every one of those questions. The key is, finding the courage to sit with self because sometimes it can be very scary to dig back to childhood, especially if it's if you face a painful experience that's now causing your unforgiveness or your fear or your anxiety or your depression. So it can be very scary. It's not an easy thing. So I'm not sitting here pretending like this is easy because it's not. It takes courage, it takes patience, and it just takes wanting to get to the root cause, a real desire to get to the root cause of feelings of loneliness. Next, embrace the position you're in. Sometimes we're surrounded by chaos and other people so much in life, we can't hear our own thoughts. We start to move the way other people want us to move. We start to behave the way they behave. We start to live and be who they want us to be rather than who we're meant to be truly. So see feeling lonely or not having a lot of people around you and embrace that position. It's a new position that you're in. And sometimes we fight with change because familiar feels good. When we're in a familiar position, that feels really good because we know that change is uncomfortable, right? But anything great that ever happens in life. Do your research if you don't believe me. Anything great that has ever occurred in the world took change. It took the ability to conquer fear and create change. So in other words, it took courage, real courage. Not saying that it wasn't scary yet again, it, it, I'm sure it was, but anything great takes change. And, and oftentimes change is very scary. And so we stay where familiar is because familiar feels safe. It feels good and safe here. And sometimes it doesn't even feel good. It just feels safe. So, but feeling lonely is a chance to rediscover new doors, to walk through those doors and experience new territory. See, that's the value of being alone because it gives us an opportunity to rediscover new doors even some of the doors that were closed in our face because we weren't ready up here and in here. Oftentimes we get a sense of feeling, uh, an overwhelming sense of feeling alone. That's just an indicator that we need to stop, look, and listen. There's a new door, a new opportunity that is open or getting ready to present itself to us. Next, think positive. It is all too often when we're feeling lonely or feeling lost in life to think negative. That's the easy thing to do because we know that thinking positive in a world that paints a negative picture is very hard to do. So most people steer toward thinking negative because if I think negative, I don't have to get my hopes up for positive and then be let down because negative usually always happens anyway. So think positive. And like I said, often when we're feeling lonely or lost, we put ourselves in the woe it's me mindset rather than focusing on seeing this as a positive opportunity to, to create the life that we desire to have. So rather than thinking negative when you're feeling lonely or having a sense of loneliness or feeling lost in life, try your best to think positive. See the glass half full rather than half empty. Next, remember, 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 if you take nothing else from this, I want you to remember this. Everything in life happens with a purpose. 
everything in life happens with a purpose. Now, sometimes we make crazy choices that did not have to happen. I'm not saying that. But normally when things happen that are out of our control, there's purpose behind that thing. And so that takes us back to thinking positive, right? Seeing the glass half full rather than half empty. So everything in life happens with purpose. In other words, there's a reason or there may be a reason behind your loneliness. It could be to discover new pathways, to walk through doors that other people can't walk through with you, to get to know yourself better, to bring your life into perspective, to embrace new ideas. So there's always a purpose to feeling lonely. So the key is to embrace the lesson being taught because there's always a lesson too. So the key is to embrace the lesson being taught with the loneliness or feeling loss, learn from it and then implement it. So what have you learned from feeling loss? Did you discover the root cause to you feeling lonely? And if you have, what lesson or lessons have you learned from it? Because there's always a lesson. We may not always get an A or an A plus or a B plus on the lesson, but there's always a lesson to be learned, right? And this one is one of my favorites. Next is journal your thoughts. Journaling helps us put our thoughts on paper, which then allows us to understand their visual perspective. So when we take our thoughts from up here and in here, we then we jot them down on paper paper now we can understand because we can see so we have a visual perspective of what the thought is what it means and why we're having it or why we're feeling it right so in terms this helps us to pinpoint why we're feeling lost or lonely and so that's why journaling and writing is so super awesome i love it i do it on a daily basis because i can visually see my thoughts up here that are now on paper because i've written them and now i can understand the entire picture much better than i could before and lastly if you have did all of the steps if you've researched feeling lonely or feeling lost in life or just being alone and you and you're still battling with deep feelings of loneliness or feeling lost it's okay it's okay it is okay to seek professional help because sometimes when we self-diagnose and as humans we often do like i said we run right over to google we self-diagnose and sometimes that could be incorrect sometimes we confuse loneliness with depression and most depression require professional help so don't ever be afraid to seek qualified professional help somebody who has your best interest at heart, who has your back, who wants to see you heal, who wants to see you doing good and being whole and well in life. So it's okay to seek professional help because like I said, we've all felt or we will all feel if you have not felt it and I pray that you don't, but nine times out of 10, you will have a sense of of feeling alone or lost or feeling lonely at some point in life. It's just a human thing. We've all been there, we've all done that, and you're not alone. So always remember that feeling lonely is a common feeling. It's something we all experience. Now, feeling it and then staying there and becoming stuck there is a problem. That's not okay. That requires us to look inside of ourselves or to seek professional help so we can free ourselves, right? Um, and to help you, I have created a PDF download that will help you overcome your sense of feeling lonely or lost in the world. And basically, they're affirmations. I utilize them every day. And I promise you, if you look at them and you read them, and if you believe them, not just see them and read them, but the key to affirmation, the key to getting them to work is to look at them, read them, and believe them. So there's three steps. Look at them, read them, believe them and do them on a daily basis. And when you're saying them on a daily basis, you're going to start believing them. You're going to start feeling them and then your life is going to change according to what it is that we believe or what it is that you believe up here and in here because life as we know is what we make it. So 
The PDF is in the description box, so make sure you click on that. Download it, utilize it, share it, you know, post it on your on your social media. If you know anyone who is dealing with feelings of, of feeling lost or loneliness or alone, share the PDF with them. It's a free resource. Once again, I'm Katie Gates, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and like I said, you are awesome. You are amazing. There is no doubt about that. Until next time, bye.